edition of yes. Water Horse. We got some uh, we got some shows coming up this weekend in Alabama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then next week we'll start on some more. But I got a text message concerning you and uh, about what you do. So well I want the day you to take us to commercial. I'll do it. We're okay. gonna take a short pause for our sponsors. That, was, that wasn't bad, was it? No. I mean, I do. You, I, you done all right. You done. Right, I, well, I, well, you, you working knows. on it. You, you I, working I can on do it, too. Yeah, you, you working on it. But. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. We got the Alabama Ladies Auxiliary, uh, the 19th. Call Joan Kemp, 205 566 6090. And then we got the Roger Latham, July the 20th, same location in Bailington. Call David Latham, 256 572 1820, or Joan Kemp. Well, she helps them all, 205 566 6090. Got Parker's Crossroads the 20th. You can call Jim Roberts, 225-4824. That's 731 area code. Start time is 7. Brian Parker's going to judge down there. And then next week, Thursday night, we got the, uh, the Heart of Champions show in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Marcy Allison. Uh, 931 639 2518. Lane Leverett's going to be the judge. And that's going to be followed up by the Marshall County Horseman Association and then Pulaski. So we've got a, uh, a lot going on in a short period of time. Yes. A whole lot. Uh, judges for celebration. What do you think? I, can, I think they'll be pretty good. Pretty good deal. We pretty got Scotty deal. Brooks, Derek Bonner. Jamie Bradshaw, Amy Trimble, and Lee Stewart. So that's pretty good. Got two ladies out there. Yeah. They'll keep them guys straight, keep, buddy. Keep them straight. That's They'll keep right. them on their yeah. toes. <laughs> <laughs> they better get, they better straighten up and fly right. You know, there, here there's a lot. I, I, I posted this morning. Tom Gold sent me an a article that a lady had wrote about the... Uh, Tennessee walking horse in the decision of the Supreme Court. Her name was Lydia Wheeler. 
And the first thing I was thinking that here's another person writing an article that doesn't know what's going on. Yes, you're right. She uh, said that we took advantage of the ruling by the Supreme Court, which if, if, if she had any knowledge at all or done any investigating at all, she'd know that if you find out something on Thursday or Friday, then that gives you Saturday and Sunday to get ready to file a lawsuit, that, that, that's a joke. Yeah, that's right. Th this industry has been working on, for months on putting all the information together to file this lawsuit. And, and we're filing it for good reasons, which she didn't investigate either. No. If she had us, she would have known what led up to it. Plus, she said, and she is very careful in the way she said it, she said that uh, it would appear to be the first lawsuit filed. Well, it wasn't the first one. It was the second one, really, and, and there have been others in the past. But this woman did absolutely no research. No, she ain't doing no research. She just, just come up with something just to have something to say. And, and attacked us. Yeah. And, and I, I emailed her because I, I took offense to it. Because number one, there's good reasons for the Supreme Court doing the Chevron deal and, and getting rid of these administrative judges. And if she had looked up, she would have found that if one administrative judge that they send down here says that the person's not guilty, that then they'll just go back and then hell, they'll show up with another judge and try them for the same thing again. Yes. And if that judge says, no, they're not guilty, they'll go find another one and bring him in. So it has to do with our rights, yeah. our due process rights. It has to do with a lot that this lady didn't investigate at all. She just, to me, she wasn't nothing but a glory seeker. Yeah. I mean, period. She, she abused her position is what she did in, in attacking us. And there's other, if, if she had looked, we invited Channel 5 News into video inspections. If we'd had anything to hide, we wouldn't wanted them in there. You're right. Yep. We weren't the ones that kicked them out. <laughs> the USDA kicked them out because they didn't want them videoing what they were doing. Yeah. So that, that's, that's what really gets me about the way the media is and what they do. It, it's like we don't want to tell the truth because the truth is not going to do what we want to do. We need to come up with some fantasy story over here. So, uh, but it, it's just it's just not right. Now, well, you got people, you know, that's I don't know, that's sticking their nose in something that they don't know nothing about. That's it. That's I'm not going to come into your place of business and say, Jerry, this is the way I want you to train my horse. I want you to do this and I want you to do that. I'm not a horse trainer. Yeah. It's kind of like I was told one time, well, well, my wife told me, Ronnie Spears was wanting to gild a stud I had. And I said, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't want to know if I want to do that. And my wife asked me one question. She said, what do you pay Ronnie to do? I said, train my horse. She said, don't you think y'all listen to him <laughs> there? I mean, it, and, and it makes sense. And that so, is, that do make a lot of sense. So it, it just, for people to to jump in as though they know everything about it and give all this information out that's not worth two cents. Yes. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't know, I get tired of it. The, the misuse of their position because they got an article they can write that people's gonna write it in and people when Paul Harvey was a reporter, people could trust what he said. Yeah. Paul Harvey is not reporting anymore. And to be quite honest, Leland, well, Channel 5 News, <laughs> he reports the weather. 
even though he's not always right, I know he's sincere in what he says. Mm -hmm. If he says he believes it's going to rain, he believes it's going to rain. That's right. But some of this other reporting that I hear, it, it's a it's a fairy tale. Well, like Paul Harvey always say, in the rest of the story. Yeah, in the rest of the <laughs> story. <laughs> and and he comes back, if I was the devil, I've read that one too. I mean, it, there's so much out here that people need to research. They need to check out what's being said and go look. And I can't tell you how many people have come and looked at what goes on in inspections and they say, I can't believe it. I mean, it's unreal. And we had one state representative that looked at a horse and said, well, this horse looks good. Dr. Baum said, no, I said, that horse is out. Well, you know, Jerry, there's a lot of people that's out here in this world that don't even know that these horses are being inspected before they get ready to show. Huh. They, you know, they hear all these horror stories that people tell mm -hmm. them about these horses, and they think that they, these horses are being abused, and they just going there and showing them for competition, but they don't know that these horses have been inspected before they go in that show ring by that's somebody that's hired to do that. Well, that plus the fact, I know other people are doing what I do now. You know that I always have a vet come and check my horse before you ever take it to the show yes. ground. Other people do that too. They don't know that. And then we, we get them to the showgrounds and they go through a intense inspection by the show DQPs or by Curtis Pittman's group yes. or Kentucky HIO. Then they go in, in front of the USDA and I mean, that's what this is all about. It's not about the abuse of a horse. It's about the abuse of a VMO misusing and doing unethical things because of the position there. Yes, the authority if, that they have. If they had just inspected the horse ethically, we wouldn't have no problem. Yeah. But that's not what's happened, and the USDA knows that's not what happened. i tell you what, let's, let's just, I get all tore up, and you know I get PO'd. <laughs> just talking, let's, well, let's watch some horse video. We can always depend on that. Yep. Walking for the angels. You know, they had a good show over they there. They had a real good show over there. Top Gun Maverick. That's a five and under show pleasure class. That's a nice horse right there. That's a nice horse. It really is. I mean, almost every different division, Bob got a good horse that's in every division that's out there. I think he, that's what he goes looking yes. for. Got to get them good ones. Got to get those good ones. I, I tell you, I was very, very proud of Becky. Yes. And I was. She did a great job. That give me, give you cold chills. <laughs> that was a good, she made a great show. She now, made she a good really show. She really did, an outstanding show. But nothing wrong with that. Becky's a real good rider, too. Yes, she is, and Jerry was, he, he was tickled. I yes. talked to him on the phone. He was he was tickled to death that she did some good. And Jesse done do, does a good job. He on was bragging horses. on Jesse too. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to say he's one of the young guns. He yes. does a good job. I always like this horse because I, I like a good flat shot and this one right here is what you would classify as a good flat That's shot. Right. Got a lot of walk and shake to him. and. And when you look up for walking horses in the pleasure division, this is what the kind of horse you look for right here. That's it. That's the door to the industry yes. right here. And that's the front door, buddy, yeah. not mm -hmm. the back. That's why I wish more people would really jump in and advertise these flat shots because they get people interested in them. Like this one right here, Space Cowboy. Now here's a young lady. She shows performance and flat shot. She loves them from yes. top to bottom, and that's what it's all about. A lot of people come in riding one like this, they end up with a performance. Yes. How many people have you started off on a flat shot horse? Pretty much everybody. I didn't, and then they in go a up. Performance horse and start off on a flat shot horse. Nice horse. Scala does a good job. She's a good rider. She really does. Right there is a king thing. 
Suppose you had to call Tommy Williams and tell him not to steal your material. <laughs> I mean, it, it, his material's copyrighted. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> call him and tell him that. He copyrighted your story. That's an, another nice horse right there. Oh, yeah. And that's a good story. Yeah, it about is. About the shavings and all that, that. That goes to show that, hey, sometimes you just hit it lucky. That's right. You never know. <clears throat> never know. It always yeah. feel good when you can, when you know, when you first went out road something and it turned out to end up like that. Hey, it does. Yeah. Did you get the shavings? Yeah, I got the Oh, shavings. you did mm -hmm. get the shavings? Yeah. I didn't know. You never told me that you're the one that got the shavings. <laughs> Said, hey, I got a horse out here. I can't come get him for the shavings. All right, let's go to uh, Christmas in July. They had, I mean, a fantastic show. They did have a good show. show. They really did. I was uh, very enthused over the quality and the number of horses yes. that was in there. They just did a super good job. Oh yeah, they had a real good show over there. There we go. Right here, Hill's Predicted Storm. That's their first one. Uh -huh. She showed then. Now that, uh, she just, she loves to show. Oh yeah. And she practices. You know, I talked to Jake on a Sunday. He called me on Sunday morning, and they, well, it was Sunday afternoon, really. They had already been to the barn, and there was that church and everything. She was out there doing horses. They, they, they already had four out that she was riding and working with. <clears throat> that young lady just, she just takes care of business. Yes, yeah, she, liked, she liked the horses. All right, here's a king pin in Bob Adcock, your amateur 15, two and under. We've got him in just about every category that you can name. You're right. Bob Adcock is in there busy. Him showing, or a horse that he is showing, you know, in opening the vision. I mean, he got a bunch of good ones. Oh, he'll swap up and jump on them open vision yeah. horses sometimes himself. That right there is a piece of work. That is, that's a good horse right there. Kingpin. Kingpin and Bob Adcock, congratulations. Jose Showall, that's Heinemann. I tell you what, this young lady, Jerry, she can ride. She can ride. She We're going to be doing an interview with her and her mother, Nancy. Uh, matter of fact, Nancy is going to do some uh, voiceovers for us. You know, she at one time was an actress. Yes. So She's a, they're a pleasant family to be around, too. That old family is good. That is. Tommy is a real good yeah, guy. He's a real nice guy. Yeah, he is. He just enjoys the yeah, whole that thing. Old, that whole family is some good people. Right here, I sang Dixie. I'm gonna tell you what. That horse right there, Allie Joe, is, is, that's cause that's a big mare, but yes. big mare. But now her and Allie Joe and that mare kind of mesh together. Uh huh. They uh, look awful good together. Awful good. Yes, they do. A big walking mare too. You tickle me, you just say, "Move over, Dad. Let me have it. <laughs> I can take care of this." Tide Jose. Right here, up tied Jose and Tim Smith for Bruce and Robin McDonald. That's another. That's, that's another good horse. Yeah, real good horse. The lady that takes care of our YouTube channel in Atlanta. Uh -huh. She. Uh, she is sent me a text message. Matter of fact, she did a video that she really did like it up tight, Jose. <laughs> Bruce and Robin, real nice people oh, for the Lord. industry. I mean, they does. You can't beat them. <clears throat> a lot for it. Just good people. Yeah. Tim doing a good job Tim, too. Yeah. He's back. He's getting back in stride. Mm-hmm. 
Country girl. Right there is Gemma's Country Girl and Josh Watt for Lee and Carol Baxter. This horse right here showed twice reserve in the amateur division. I'm telling you, it's a hard mare to beat. Oh, yeah, she's nice. She's real nice, beautiful. Josh and them and Dale does a good job down there. And you know the biggest thing with them, they don't have a lot of shows to go I know. to. That's so, the bad I mean, part about it. And I mean, but they do good when they come up here now. Well, maybe if everything works out all right and we start getting good, fair, ethical inspections, there'll be more people having horse shows and we can build the industry back up. That's right. And here's Cousin Bob, Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. I tell you what, Shane does a good job oh, yeah. showing this horse, too. Mm -hmm. He's something else. That's Jim Bo did good with him. Yeah. This horse went from one trainer from one birch to another birch. That's it. Just keep me going. I'm ready to go. Yep. Shane's a good, super good guy. Yeah, he is. I think he's more on his grandkids now. And right here, you know I love a good mare. Oh, yeah. And this one right here, Bolly was tickled with this, and I don't blame her. That honeybee. Is, is just a uh, she, she's she's a good mare. She what more, more can you say? And Taylor, she's a good rider too. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean she. That's a pretty. I, mean, I just like the way she goes. Got that head up, ready, walking, reaching. Yeah, consistent. My honey bee. Pollinating there. Yeah. You know, a mare like that, when you look around, she's doing the same thing every yeah. time you see her, and that's what it consists of. That, that's what you want. So yes, if you can get out there and you know you're going in the ring, she's ready. Yep. Harley Quinn. And right here is Harley Quinn, amateur lady of Marion Gildan. Now, this world champion here. Oh, yeah. And Harley, she's always in the hunt, buddy. Mm -hmm. Beth, you can't beat, you know, she's a veteran. Yeah. Her, well, her and her husband both are veterans. They serve together. Now, she does a good job. You ever talk to her dad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, her dad's a good dude, but he's a good one. That's another mare that sits there and, and very consistent. Yeah. And big mare, too. Yeah. Got a good way of going. Honored in Texas. Right here, honored in Texas. Tell you what, just right here, <laughs> that 50 and over class, that honored in Texas looked good. Oh, yeah. Love. I mean, look good. Getting it done. As like I say, Mr. Bob is hard. You know, you didn't say everything in the world about him because you know he, he, got, he got so many good horses. Hey, he, he's loaded. Yeah, loaded he got with a bunch talent. Of good ones. And every one of them can flat get it done, and that, that's the thing. Yeah. Right here, the Paddock Master and Kenny Smith. He uh, he had just won Columbia, uh -huh. so I thought I asked him about this. So we, we got a little Columbia in here too, because that th this is one that Kenny trains. Yes, and I wanted people to see the when you look at him, you see this, you see what he was doing in Columbia, and it's almost identical. Yeah, that's a good horse. Hey, he's a great horse. Kenny could probably make a living training oh, horses yeah. if he wanted to. He's been around it long enough to do I that. Now, I tell you, he's a good horseman now. He can, I he think, can pick I a good I think one. he'd just rather have a good time. Good time, that's right. And here's Big John Coffee. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, this horse, he's, he's getting it done. That, that's it in a nutshell. He's that's a getting good, it done. That's a good horse. And I tell you what, that Justin, he's he big work, too. Justin works hard at it. Now. I know he's he a, does. He's a hard he worker. Hard. 
Well, Beth, I'm gonna tell you, Beth Beasley, she's got an eye for horses. Yeah. And she, she'll she buy them good ones. But now that, that right there, it's looking good. good. Justin Harris, your riders go four-year-old Kinder class winner. Beth Beasley family of Athens, Alabama, on the entry. Boy, he's a big rash. Yeah, he is. Right here, Bo Cephas. I always look at these bottle classes, I think, of my old buddy Jeff Gibbons. That's a pretty rascal there. It might be your world champion oh, yeah. this year. Very well could be. He's pretty enough. Got the confirmation and look. Oh, Robert, get it done, can he? Yeah. Switchblade. You know, we can sit here all day and talk about this. Oh, yeah, that's a good horse. That horse, every time Allie Joe shows that horse, he keeps getting better and better. Better and better and better. And better. I mean, she, yeah. she just doesn't take a back seat. She keeps moving forward. That's what makes it so much fun when you're watching these kids. Yeah. When they can really get out there and, I don't know, it's just... It just makes me happy to see it. Yeah. She's worked at this right here. So that's a whole lot of horse for her. I think they just about got there with each other. Right here, I'm big enough. There's one thing you always say. Every time you look at that horse, he's doing that right there. He's doing that right there. He is a nice horse. I text Beth and thanked her for her advertisement. I said, I want to thank you for the cookies, too. Some <laughs> <laughs> girls with them cookies. Oh, yeah. They got a new one now, strawberry cookie. Yep. I tell you, they're real good on, the, on bakery. Oh, yeah. I'm big enough. I tell you, I, I love that pony. Yeah. I, these kids, they've got a class now that I'm telling you now, it's just unreal. The competition's in the youth division, really. You exactly right. I mean, it's just, uh, Bob Adcock better watch it if he has a grandson or a granddaughter come running around. They're liable to take every horse he's got. got. <laughs> sure is. You're right. Well, well, I tell you what, we're going to take a short commercial break. And we'll be right back. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion, Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion, El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. I fell in love with Tennessee from the second that I saw it. From the beautiful rolling hills to the beautiful rivers and streams, the ecosystem and the wildlife are awesome here. But it needs constant care, and that means picking up litter and trash every single chance you get. It's totally polluting the ecosystem, totally polluting the natural resources, and it's a big hazard for our local wildlife. Please join NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and join me in keeping Tennessee beautiful and keeping this part of our great legacy. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. 
This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. Well, welcome back. That uh, 4th of July weekend was just, I mean, it was... Oh, yeah. Um, there was good horses everywhere. No matter where you went, you saw good horses. You had seen good horses. And he grand. Now, this was the second time she showed equitation. Mm -hmm. So she just getting out there, getting more and more competitive. And here comes the celebration time yep. right around the corner. But you got Ain't He Grand and Allie Joe, your Lebanon under equitation winner. You know, she's just nine years old. Yeah. So that Lebanon under is going to be a tough. Oh, yeah. And then everybody else going to have to worry about it. She's going to be like Dahlia Smith when mm -hmm. Dahlia Smith went into the <laughs> amateur division. <laughs> they were saying, now we got to go get a yes, Here, it's the medalist in Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. Now, he's the man, buddy. He, yeah, oh, Eli, now, he's, hey. he's a riding machine. He, he's something else. That's nice, a nice young man, too. Yeah. He, he's a super nice kid. No old James proud of him. Oh yeah. His confidence level is getting way getting real big now. Oh yeah. He he just he enjoys it. Yeah. People just don't realize these kids enjoy stuff. Right here, tea time Charlie. Mm -hmm. She looked good. Yep. I love to see both of them show against each other because you, you're going to get you're going to get entertained yeah. the whole class because you're they're right. going to entertain you. That's a good horse there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. No. Nothing at all. Tea time, Charlie. And Allie Joe Jacobs. Right here is a gin to win in Kendra Myers. That's a nice horse right there, too. Oh, Lord, yeah. He's a world champion, world grand champion. Mm -hmm. Kendra works a lot now, though. Yeah. So it's uh, but I tell you what, it tend to win. Something else. Yep, he's a nice horse, real nice horse. Seemed to like it without that tail yep. brace. Right here's the first night out. And here's what I'm talking about. This is Allie Joe. We've seen her yeah. in equitation. We've seen her in performance. Now here she is in flat shot class. Mm -hmm. She'll show in every division yes. during the celebration. I guarantee it. Nice horse. Yeah, it is. Now, That's what I'm saying. For her to be so young and can ride different type of horses and listen to different trainers, that's pretty good. It is. I tell you what, right here, quite an honor. Yeah. Now, Maxine did an outstanding job with this horse right here. Won a good class. Our youth division is from 
17 and under. All the way down. I yeah. mean, it's just, it's tough. You don't, you don't get a break in, in this youth mm -hmm. division. No, you don't. It's some good horses. I mean, some super nice horses. And you got a bunch coming up. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got Little Bomb. You got Wild Away. Mm -hmm. you got, I mean, a bunch of young ones coming up. You're born a Maverick and Bob Adcock. That's another good horse right there. That's one when he comes through the gate. Yeah. You see him and you keep going, going back, back to him. Yeah. The whole, the whole class. You keep going back. Some of them just grow on. Oh yeah. But when it comes to horses, I'm, I'm like the little boy in the candy store. Can't decide which one he wants. <laughs> This horse, see, I've been watching him from, from day one all the way up Me now. Too. Right here, Cerveza. Yeah. This horse, I've not, this year, last year too, I didn't see him show a time that I thought he got what he deserved. There, yeah. He just, they continuously, and why, I don't know. I go back and I look at video and I can say, well, you know, he, he shouldn't have been no lower than this. Yes. And, and I know I'm not that bad a judgment of horses. Debbie does a good job does of that. Does a good job. Here's Cavender. Tell you what. This state class this year with the caliber of oh, horses yeah. that's going in it ain't going to be no cakewalk. Uh, it's not going to be a cakewalk. That right there. Oh, he's that's, getting it done. Cavender's just one of them. There's oh, yeah. more. There is more out there that outstanding horses. Real good horse. But I've watched this one come along. Yeah. I watched him his first time he showed over at Thor Sports. You you could see yeah. what was there. He's looking good, I can tell oh, you yeah. that. Real good horse. Real good. Hi, right, we was there. That was Money Tree. And then we took a little trip to Woodbury. Mm -hmm. They had a good class up there. Real good show. Here's Cole Hahn, Allie Joe Jacobs again. As Allie Joe can flip a coin on the juvenile horses that she can show. Well, her dad loves to see her in the ring. Yeah. And he, he has not wasted any money as far as buying quality. He has bought the quality. Yeah. And she has worked for it. So I can tell you, this young lady gets what she deserves. Yeah no matter what. And I've seen her tie first, I've seen her tie down, but she's there. Yep. She wants to show. But she works hard at it. And she got the horses, and that right there is one of them, buddy. He <laughs> can go. They're gonna switch one of them over to show pleasure, though. Yeah. Right here is Ladies Privilege and Thomas Derrickson. That's another young yeah. gun. Yeah. For Missy and Tim Johnson. Tom's done, doing a, a oh, good job, hey, I tell you, he's doing a well of a job. He is. Young man sits up on a horse ride, good, you know, and present a horse very well. Oh yes, very well. And he, he's doing, I mean, he's, I'm saying he's another one of our young guns that's getting out here and getting it done. And I tell you, he's got some good owners, too. Yeah. This class right here was tough. Yeah. I mean tough. But the hoss, I thought the hoss looked great. There was a couple of them in there that looked great, bar none. But now the hoss. Yeah. 
I like that name too. Uh, yeah. Duh Hoss. Allie Joe must have named that. <laughs> good class. Real good class. And there was a battle between these top oh, yeah. two horses. Real battle. There was your reserve, the country lineman. Uh -huh. Look at there. You, when you're watching these kids go at it, each other, it's, it, it's, a, it's a sight to oh, see, yeah, buddy. It is. But now that reserve, outstanding that's, show. That's another good horse. Beth's got a lot of good horses. She does. Now she, she does. Real, she has bunch several of good horses. She there. has several real good ones that can really get it done. Yeah. Right here, my brother in arms, Marion Gildin winner. I believe she said they they had mostly mares and studs, but this one was the exception. Mm. <laughs> Missy and Tim Johnson. So they they've got a stable of good horses. Oh yeah. You know, watching Thomas ride right there make you look back in the days oh, yeah. when the riders just set up on a horse and presented that horse well and everything. I mean, it just, he's like he's back in time right there. I, I know. And I like that. Go back to the Pascals yes. and all mm -hmm. them, Steve Hill, Geo, and Bowie Williams. Bowie did a good job. Yeah, Bowie done a good job. He doesn't show that often, but now I thought he did right good that night. Now you talking about a young man that's talented in breeding wise. Oh yeah. Know his breeding and know his horses now. He, he does he knows that now. Them. He knows them. He knows it. Just got some good horses in, in that up there, Woodbury Show. It didn't take a back seat to none up. No. Did have the USDA show up, and they were up to their usual annex. Yeah. Spotlight on Jose 4G, your three-year-old stallion, and Bill Calloway from Bob Adcock. That's another real good horse right there. Yes. Oh, Bill, he can get it done. Oh yeah. That's a good one right That's there. That's a good horse. He gave you with all he got. Well, that's just another one in Bob's stable. Oh, yeah. Right here, Jose's desperate man and Carice Heineman. She made an outstanding yeah. show. I, we, when we was looking through video, I could not find any that didn't look like that. Yeah. So it made me kind of wonder, you know, about the placing. I thought she did real good. Nice horse. Hey, just flat walk, flat walking, getting it done. Carice sets a good horse now. Yeah, she does. I mean, she a good sets, she a good sets a good saddle. Very well. And here's Mr. Far Real and Dahlia Smith Hart. Now, when this young lady come out of the amateur juvenile division yeah. and started showing against the ladies, she, she had all of them worried. I remember George Ann Pratt told me, she said, oh, Lord, next year we got to show against her. <laughs> George Ann was, a, was one fine lady. Yeah. Yeah, you can flat ride, buddy. Dave is a good rider. Oh, yeah. She's, she's been there in two, so if one gets sick, she can take yeah. care of it. We ought to put her over the Horse Protection Act with the USDA. 
Oh, say it ain't so, R.M. Kelly for Jake Jacobs, who took the championship. Only horse to ever beat I am Jose. Yep. He is the only one to ever beat him. Doesn't look bad on a resume, no, does it? He's a nice horse. I swear R.M. Kelly looks like Joe Martin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. He sets that saddle like he's just yeah. part of it. Right here's one you got to watch for. Zaro Jr. Yeah. Hey. Sam looked awful good up there. Yeah, but he did. That's a nice horse too. I mean, heck, he's just uh, rare back and get it. Big horse. He, he's getting a lot of a tremendous amount of views on YouTube. Oh yeah, people checking him out. That's a nice horse. Sam does a good job. He does. Sam's a good jockey now. He is. I mean, he he can get it done. You don't have that much to worry about. He no. he, he he can train. Yep. Let's see where we're at. Well, you want to do it this time, you don't I think to. I'm going to do it this time. I feel I'm left gonna, out. I'm, I'm going to see left out. Yeah, I feel left out well, right go, here. Go ahead and do what you want to then. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee Walking Horse champion. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old, whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse, coming up. They, they you know, they they had one class with 15 horses. They had a good in. class. They had... I mean, it was unreal. Yeah. But now they, they did. And they had a lot of real good classes. Yeah, real they did. good ones. The show pleasure. It was it was just about as good as you can yeah. get. Right there was your winner, Georgia, Florida Line, and Tim Smith for Robert Dortch. Hard Eight and Chad Wave for Skylar Nipper. Burbank, John Allen Calloway for Harbor Morse. Melania, Wayne Wilson for Debbie Williams, and Black Line, Courtney Tyra. Finished out the ribbons. But now, as far as the show, you couldn't ask for a better show. Oh, yeah. 
And the quality was good. Mm -hmm. A lot of good horses in that class. I'm not sure how many entries they had, but it was quite a few. They had a bunch of they had a bunch of horses there. They're just a bunch of good horses. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I have to agree with the top two. Yeah, 100 percent because they Georgia Florida Lions just that now he's Georgia oh, Florida yeah. Lion and Hard Eight, good horse. A lot of people out there. Yeah. Right there he is, Georgia, Florida line, and Tim Smith for Robert Dortch. That horse has been good for a long time. Oh, yeah. He just does that flat walk, doesn't mm -hmm. he? What you want? Right here's your three-year-old Marion Gilding class. I'm gonna tell you, it was a big class right here. Yeah, it was a big class. A lot of good yeah. ones in there. Mm -hmm. That red alert. I've liked that horse ever since the first time I saw him. Yeah. Red alert and Dan Waddell took the blue for George and Kim Lewis. Safara, John Allen Calloway for Dr. Allen Willingham. Goddess, Nick Plepkin for Sean Wampler. Wampler, I'm sorry. Mama's Money, I like that, for Bill Calloway for Denise Smith. And his Jazz at Dicks at the Ritz, Link Webb for Tony Hudson. I like that Mama's Money. Yeah. <laughs> Red Alert was, I thought last year, Kim showed that horse down at War Trace. Mm -hmm. Made an outstanding show. And I mean outstanding. Even had bread in this class. Yeah. Right? They had a bunch of in there. That was Brad debut. He hadn't shown <laughs> years. But he came back. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good horse right there, Red Alert. Hey, I like it, Red Alert now. That was a good horse. I thought I thought Kim did great showing. Yeah. Maybe we'll see her again down, mm -hmm. down in War Trace this year. Right here at Amateur Bears and Gilding. Now, it was a tough, <laughs> there was a good class here, too. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen horses in that class. Miss Stone Cash and Linda Box took the blue for Noah Box. Sadie Hawkins and Linda Gerard was reserved. It's high maintenance. Sister Milligan and Adeline Ritz, Jack Heffington, and the number five horse we don't have any information on. But now, all of them, you talking about a class. Oh yeah, it was a real good class. Fifteen. Yeah. That was a good class right here. Hmm. Horse. That's celebration quality there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's plain and simple. But you had that judge taking a double. Oh, yeah. I can hear Ross now. There's a good. Oh, there's another good. Yeah. Look them in here. What's that? When I mean, you got that many as last that, and that's, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the walk horse industry is about. Yeah. You got good horses. A lot of people on the rail watching, and entertainment and center ring. Yeah. I was, that was one of the best classes of the night. Yep. Right there. The only thing I got against the Carnival show, their pies went up. <laughs> I sent CJ down there to get me six. I told him, I said, bring me back six, and it had gone up $5 a piece. 
There she is, Miss Stone Cash and Linda Botch. I tell you, Linda, for, she does a good Nolan job. Botch. I thought she did. She does a good job. I thought she rode him very well. Yeah. I'm so very proud. Well. I'm so proud for her. All right, Noel. I'm some real nice people, too. Yeah, they are. Very Super nice. Super good. Yeah. But now, I'm telling you, that right there, she made a outstanding show. Yeah. And I know she's tickled to death. And I don't blame her. Right here's your three-year-old stallion. Proud of this right here. Wilhelm, Dan Waddell from Missy, and Tim Johnson. Mighty Gray's Link Webb for Charles Legren. Mighty Cool, Tim Smith for Keith and Lorraine Rosberry. My American Cash, Jackie Byram. No doubt about I am Bill Calloway for Bob Adcock. Yeah. Finished out the ribbons, and there you have it. I'll tell you what, that was a, I don't know what more you could ask for. Oh, yeah. Good class, good show. Mm -mm -mm. Look at there. It's a good horse. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 that was Wilhelm there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we got a lot of talented horses oh, yeah. in this industry, a lot of them. Three-year-old stallion winner, Wilhelm and Dan Waddell for Missy Johnson. She didn't let Tim put his name on that horse. <laughs> Look at there. Nice, good. Real good. Last of a legacy. Yeah. Good Lord. I'm telling you what, we, we're having some good shows. Oh yeah, having really good Quality shows. horses. And anybody can look at this video, to me, it's about as good as you'd want. Oh yeah. So, I'm not sure how much time we got, but I do want to remind everybody of the shows this weekend, but also want to remind them next Thursday. That, that's when Marcy's having hers. Oh, we, we're out of time. Y'all be safe and good Bye. night. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.